Hello, we are editors. Myself and the rest of the band are currently on tour. So we've stopped off here in a migrant refugee camp to speak to Oxfam and see the work they're doing here. You know, it's quite hard to see all these young men with nothing to do. They were essentially stuck here. What does he miss about Pakistan? This is a very transitional space. You know, all the, the bunk beds, there's nothing around that would associate any individual person with uh, their own sort of area, their own home. Uh, yeah, to see that is pretty heartbreaking because they just they just want to get out. They want to be able to look after themselves in a, a safe situation. And where are you from, Omar? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. From some fighting and war there, I can't study. Obviously, everyone's got you know horrible stories to tell and talk about you know border crossings and getting beaten up by border police and leaving their um, homes and their loved ones and some of them getting further than others and that's really hard to hear um, a fellow human being tell you that you know but in essence this place here um, seems to be working I really like coming to see the work that NGOs do and people like Oxfam, you know, local governments when it was in Greece and Serbia today. They are making an effort to try and make these people's lives as, as best as they can. The food's actually really good and they're just volunteers here working behind the kitchen. They make the food in Belgrade and bring it up here, which is an amazing thing really. You know, they've got a recreation room where all the guys want to play pool and stuff and in the corner at the back down there is um, a little room with the drums and guitar. And we've been shown around by a young man who's a singer as well from Pakistan. Quite a successful singer as well. We entered the battle of the bands when we were at university. We lost. <laughs> he doesn't have a home, he doesn't have anywhere to go, but music and his spirit is what keeps him centred. Uh, the band were pretty spectacular, yeah. No, I think they need a little bit of work on their timing, but they, they were pretty rad. <laughs> we got some pipes. You know, I wish that I could put a lot of people in my position here today and to be able to use my eyes and look around and see that these people aren't something to be afraid of. They're normal people that have had to make incredibly tough decisions to leave their homes and that shouldn't be seen in a negative light. I think it's on a human level, really. I think it's quite hard to ignore, put out of your mind, people risking everything um, to, leave, to leave their homes for whatever reason. So we just have to open up a little bit more to, to giving people what they need. Whether it's just basic shelter is fine, but we need to offer them a future, I think.